Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a history of playing cards, and not just any playing cards. We're doing history over the United States Playing Card Company and Cardamundi. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's give a brief timeline before we really dig in. Cardamundi, which was originally founded in 1970 in a small town in Belgium, and I'll put that there because I can't pronounce it very well. The U.S. Playing Card Company, however, or USPCC, was originally founded in 1867 in Norwood, Ohio. Now, before we dig any far into this juicy history of these two companies, I would kindly ask if you guys would please subscribe. It would help me out a lot. We're getting close to 2,000 subscribers every single day, and uh, I just can't wait till we get there. So if you enjoy this type of content, and if you enjoy this video, uh, watch it till the end. Let me know what you think, and if you like it, please subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, and let's get back to it. Now, as I said before, Cardamundi was originally founded in 1970, but their history goes a lot deeper than that. So as you see here before, um, before 1970, they were founded by a joint venture, and those joint people were between Brepols, Van Gurneschen, and Biermans. I don't know if I said that right, but uh, those are indeed the three companies that founded Cardamundi. Now these three companies do date back all the way to 1765, which is a long time ago, which means that they have been producing playing cards for over 250 years, giving Cardamundi the edge a little bit on the United States Playing Card Company. Now let me explain just how juicy these two companies get. So way back in the year of our Lord, 1996, Cardamundi established its first headquarters in the United States, right in Kingsport, Tennessee. Now let's quickly fast forward all the way to 2007. So this is a big old jump. Cardamundi now moved its headquarters all the way to Dallas, Texas. And they did this after acquiring the Yukinto, I believe that's how you say it, printing facility in 2006. Now, if you fast forward to present day, Cardamundi is now very well established in the US market. And they have design centers in prominent cities like Dallas, Seattle, and San Francisco. So now that we know a little bit about the history of Cardamundi, let's go ahead and switch over to the U.S. side of this equation. So the United States Playing Card Company was originally established in 1867, but it wasn't known as the United States Playing Card Company just yet. It was actually originally called Russell Morgan & Co. I'll throw a picture somewhere if I can find it. And it wasn't founded in its current incarnation until 1885, which means for 18 years, nobody knew they were a playing card company. Which I think is kind of crazy. Now you may know some of their popular brands such as Bicycle, B, Tally Hoes, and Aviators. And these are when they were founded. Now keep in mind that for most of uh, United States Playing Card Company's existence, they were based right in Cincinnati, Ohio until 2009 when they moved their headquarters to Erlanger, Kentucky. Now let's just talk about like the sheer amount of profit that uh, the United States Playing Card Company has made over the years. From 2003 to the present, they have brought in over $130 million off of playing cards alone, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's a lot of playing cards being bought, made, and sold to the public. You guys want to know another crazy thing? The United States Playing Card Company has actually had a parent company over it for most of its life, and I'll throw up a little diagram here. But ever since 2019, the most surprising thing about this is that Cardamundi has actually been the United States Playing Card Company's parent company for three whole years. So what does this mean? Is the war between USPCC and Cardamundi over? Was there ever any war to begin with? Are they just acting like they're competitors to try and drive up the market price? Or are they really still at each other's throats? I'll let you guys decide because this could get very hectic in the comments. And keep in mind, Cardamundi has been the United States Playing Card Company's biggest rival for years. But nobody ever noticed that Cardamundi is actually the United States Playing Card Company's parent company. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please let me know if you learned anything new in this video, if you liked it, if you liked the history about it. Uh, let me know if you'd like me to turn this into a series. Uh, comment down below what you'd like to learn more about and we can learn together. I think it's really fun to find out like where certain card companies came from in their history and roots and origins. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed. Drop a like on this video. Drop a comment if you enjoyed it. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. Comments, suggestions, concerns, whatever. 
And that's about all I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Wooden Cardist, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all.